Hey, welcome back! You may have already noticed this, but in case you haven't, there are quite a few hungry critters around your Dreamlight Valley. And no, I don't mean Remy. Besides, he's already your friend. Good for you, Remy. Anyway, some of you may have already tried feeding a squirrel or two. However, some other critters just aren't as friendly to you as the squirrels are. So, how do you approach each type of critter? You may be surprised how simple it actually is. Let's list them down one by one, starting with the Plaza's Squirrel. These critters are fairly straightforward, just approach them and they won't run away. However, you will want to have some peanuts handy to feed them. To gain access to peanuts, you will need to have already invited Remy to your valley, and then progress with his questline to unlock the peanuts in his restaurant. Next are the rabbits in the peaceful meadow. This one's pretty straightforward as well. They will run away the first and second time you approach them, but they'll eventually stay once you've approached them a third time. Just make sure to stay persistent, and you'll be rewarded. For the rabbit's favorite food, it's quite obviously carrots, so make sure to have them handy. At Dazzle Beach is where you'll encounter turtles. This one may be the first creature you'll meet where you need to play a green light, red light type of minigame. As you approach, the turtle will immediately retreat inside its shell. When this happens, that's the red light. Stop and don't move until the turtle emerges from its shell. Once the turtle emerges, you can now safely approach and feed the turtle. These critters' favorite food is seaweed. So with the ocean right there, you have access to all the seaweed you'll ever need. Then at the Forest of Valor, you'll encounter the raccoons. This one's a bit of a challenge, since one small mistake can send the raccoon scurrying away and then you'll have to try again. So for this one, you'll need to time your approach correctly. When the raccoon's head is up, that's the red light. But when it bows its head, that's the green light. But prepare to stop right before it raises its head again. Just repeat this process until you're within range of feeding it. So the raccoon's favorite food is blueberries. You can find these on the bushes around the Forest of Valor. Next is the crocodiles at the Glade of Trust. Just like the raccoons, the method of approach for the crocodiles is exactly the same. Red light when their head is up, and green light when their head is down. And once you're within range, go ahead and feed them. In this case, however, their favorite food isn't as easy to procure, since you'll need to catch these lobsters from the golden ripples at the Glade of Trust. After that, you'll encounter the foxes of the Frozen Heights. The approach method for this is just like how you approach the rabbits. Just be persistent until they stop and allow you to feed them. For this one, however, you will want to feed them some white sturgeon fish, which you can catch from the golden ripples at the Frozen Heights. The last available critter currently in the game are the sunbirds of the Sunlit Plateau. So they may seem intimidating at first, but these critters function like squirrels. They don't require any red light, green light minigame, nor do they run away. Just make sure to feed them some house leek flowers which can be found in the Sunlit Plateau as well. So other than the critters you see in the valley, don't forget that you can also unlock secret critters like Pua by going through Moana's questline, as well as purchasing them with moonstones during events like with the squirrel's costume that's the Invincibles. As an additional tip, you may also opt to place chests in each biome to store each critter's favorite food. This would save you some time from having to go around and collect the food, or even going back to your home just to get them. Just make sure to optimize your placement of chests, perhaps beside the fountains so they can remain easily accessible. Speaking of easily accessible, you may want to organize your valley for easy access and efficiency whenever you play the game. Check out my video here on how I conveniently organize my valley. GG everyone. Peace.